Hey everyone, it's Heather, and I'm going to make a tag video um, about baby stuff. And so, first thing, um, how old is your baby? And Kinsley is pretty much about a few days um, here. She'll be nine months. Um, and so, the first question is, a few baby products you can't live without and that make life easier as a mom. Um, first thing, um, when she was younger, she couldn't live without these infant drops. Infant gas relief drops. Um, she would have her formula and she would get a little fussy. We would give her those in her passy and it would seem to calm down on her tummy. Or any time that she would just get fussy, um, we'd give her a little bit of that, and that would help her take her pasty, and she'd be all better. Um, another thing she can't live without um, is a swing. She loves her swing. She's getting a little big for it now, but when she was little, she had to have her swing. Um, and then... She loves snacks now. We can't live without snacks. Um, so she loves these snacks. Or these puffs. Sweet potatoes, her favorite. And then the yogurt, strawberry, milk thing. Loves those. Um, and her extra saucer and her bassy. Um, her extra saucer is over there. I'll just have to show you that later. Um, and then she always needs her boppy pillow. Um, that has been good for, um, she was little. If I had to, it helped with breastfeeding. And, um, it also helped for, if I had to sit her down for a second, I could sit her in that and it would help her stay in one spot. And then, um, as she got older, it helped when, um, she was wanting to be on her tummy, because she didn't like to be on her tummy sometimes, um, so we'd put her on that, and she'd kind of be elevated up a little bit. And then it helped her when she was trying, it, that was probably the most it helped with, um, when she was sitting up, um, to help her sit up and learning to sit up. And now she doesn't use it as much, um, because she is up and around, crawling around and stuff. But we do sit it up um, behind her, especially if she's standing up now. We'll put it behind her, so if she falls down. Um, or anywhere that's like a hard edge somewhere and she's near, we'll put this around it. And so she can't hit her head on it or anything. Um, and then, okay. So that was number one. That was a long number one. Anyways, number two. What did you buy or receive that you didn't need or never used? Well, um, well, I would say clothes. Um, we've gotten a lot of clothes, and she's even got to wear all of them, especially this summer. She's had a ton of summer stuff. And, um, I just went through her clothes and got out her bigger sizes, and here comes all the summer stuff that she hasn't gotten to wear yet because she hasn't grown into all of it yet. But I'm trying to get her to wear it and it's like the last few weeks and these are like summer clothes. They're the sizes for like in like the winter time. So now she's probably not going to get to wear those. Um, but anyways, just clothes and clothes and clothes. We have to of clothes. Um, and then I guess another thing like I mean, I didn't breastfeed for that long but if you breastfeed then it's good to have all that breastfeeding stuff. But I got a lot of breastfeeding stuff, but then I wasn't able to breastfeed as much because um, when I went back to work, um, where I own the salon, I wasn't able to breastfeed her when I'm working, so my mom had to feed her a lot. Um, so I feel like I have all this breastfeeding stuff I didn't get to use, but I may save it for a later time. Also, too much of like one thing, like like clothes. Don't buy too many onesies. Don't buy too many, um, like, um, 
just too many of one thing that you don't, you know, like blankets, you don't need 15 blankets, you might get 5 at the most, um, and, um, just stuff like that. Number 3, Pampers or Huggies? Well, I would say, for diapers, I would say either one, I like both of the diapers, um, but the wipes, I like the Huggy wipes, and one reason is because, um, they tear easily, so you can actually use them at two different times, especially when she just has a wet diaper, um, and it's not like a big wet diaper, you could just use half of it, um, use other half later, and it'll save you a little bit of money. Um, and then, baby's favorite thing. Her favorite thing of all time is her passy. Of course, she's got to have her passy. Um, but another favorite thing is her loud, this is a really loud, it sings. Do you want to hear it? But I don't want it to be too loud. Let's see. Okay, that's it. It's really loud. It might wake her up. Um, she loves loud toys like that. Um, and then, number five. What item makes traveling easier? Well, I've been thinking about this one. Um, definitely a diaper bag. And a diaper bag that's a good diaper bag that has a lot of pockets in it and stuff. Um, and it makes it easier to put everything in your diaper bag and take it when you're traveling. Anyway. Um, another thing that's easier when you're traveling is to use this thing in my bob, and you put your formula in here. Um, or, like now that she's older, I can put snacks in here, or I can put, what I do is I go ahead and mix up um, formula and the rice cereal in one of these and have it set. Um, yeah, this thing is good for all the time. Um, and then this... Right here, you put diapers in, and wipes and stuff, um, and it makes it easier because you can grab this and go to the restroom when you're out. That makes it easier. Um, bottle preference. These right here are awesome, and they're the best, because when kids are little, this way it keeps the air out, you know, because that's what hurts their tummy. And these seem to do that best with the Vent Air, um, Playtex. Vent Air Advance, and they have different, um, the nipples, the small, medium, I mean, not small, slow, medium, fast. The slow one, she stayed on till about three to four months, and then the mediums, um, she stayed on since, at least by four months, she's been on mediums, and then the fast, we've tried the fast ones, but, um, those seem to be too fast and make her spit up more because she spits up a lot. Um, some babies can handle that and some babies, but now she only has a bottle in the morning and at night, so it's not like she's to eat really fast. So, um, but they do have the fast ones too. And so that's it. And then it comes apart down here too when you wash it and stuff, but it really helps. Um, other, um, that you can add in the sippy cut preference. I'm just going to add in there. Um, this one is the Nook. Yeah, the Nook is good um, because of how I like how the top is and it doesn't spill. Um, and I like how cute it is. Um, and the little handles right here, when you twist this on, then you can turn this to match with the nipple part. And it has the measurement thing on here, which I measure sometimes if I want to make sure. I normally fill it up to 5 ounces, and if it's flat, then I she drinks 5 ounces of apple juice um, or water or whatever. But, and also when she drinks out of it, um, it doesn't all get all over her or her bib or or anything. She can drink out of it good and not be everywhere all over her. So, it's good. Love it.
Um, blanket brand you would recommend? I say any blanket because she loves blankets. And but we do have this blanket, and I think we got it. Oh, it's from Carter's. She has two of these we got from the baby shower. And also we got this one that she really likes. And it's actually a good one for, um, she really liked to be swaddled. So you can swat because it's really long and stretchy. I think, um, I'm thinking, I got this one at my baby shower. It says by Carter's, but I think that they got this at Target. You might get the other one from Target too, because I know they have Carter stuff. So I'm pretty sure. Um, and then eight, um, fave place to buy baby clothes. Okay, for this one, it's actually um, any consignment sales that are going on. Um, consignment sale events, and I'm going to do a video on this because I love consignment sales. Um, cause you can get a ton of stuff at awesome prices. So consignment sales, I go and get your clothes, and I mean, they'll have a ton of stuff that you can go get. Um, and even toys, clothes, anything. And this is, so right here, I got these toys. Um, I got this big old man right here, I think for like $4.00. This maybe like two or three dollars. These toys over here for a dollar. So here's the stand up toy I got at Consumer. So I think it was like four or five dollars. This thing right here I got for four dollars um, the other weekend. And there's her ex saucer and swing by there that she can't live without. Toys we got at Consumer Sales. Also, but um, clothes are good too because maybe they don't wear that many they don't wear their clothes that much so you can get nice stuff um also though outlets you know if you do want new stuff i would definitely go to outlets to get clothes um did you buy or receive a bassinet was it worth it um i would say i received a bassinet in Yes, absolutely worth it. Um, when she was tiny, tiny, tiny little baby, she used that bassinet a lot because I had it right beside my bed. And um, that way I could just reach over and get her when she woke up, feed her, put her back, you know, just right there with me. And it didn't take up a lot of room. So. Yes, while they're little. And then when they get bigger, they can switch out to their crib. Um, 10. Baby bath products. Okay. Um, Johnson's Head to Toe Body Wash. And this, um, Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Um, I was just using the Head to Toe Body Wash for her hair too. And it really dried out her scalp so then I got this baby shampoo to use on her head and it really um has helped a lot and does really good her hair's getting long finally and then yeah we use the lotion too um I think that was it well thanks for watching me and I'll be making more tag videos and please comment subscribe Thumbs up, whatever, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.